For example, Amazon are developing cutting-edge AI facial recognition technology that they're selling direct to law enforcement. Which, on one hand, is helping police find criminals, but on the other hand, is largely untested and unregulated, yet yeah, they've also had talks about selling it to Immigrations and Customs Enforcement and the US military. Bezos himself has made it clear that he sees Amazon playing a critical role in national security, as well as in commerce. We are going to continue to support the DoD, and I think we should. And if, if big tech companies are going to turn their back on the US Department of Defense, this country is going to be in trouble. And this isn't Amazon's first dealing in this area at all. A BBC documentary about Amazon claimed that police have turned into even salespeople for Amazon Ring, a product which markets itself as a smart video doorbell with a built-in camera and Wi-Fi that police are now recommending to people for security. Amazon are also currently working on other futuristic projects like drone deliveries and AI robots for the home. Ironically, in 2018, a Guardian article wrote that of the top 10 US industries by GDP, Amazon has a finger in all but real estate. In 2019, articles started popping up about Amazon entering real estate. Even websites you may currently use yourself like IMDB and Goodreads are subsidiaries of Amazon. The thing is, Bezos has managed to brand Amazon in a way where no market is off limits for them. It's dangerous not to evolve. If you want to ensure your extinction, cease to evolve. In other words, they have incredible brand elasticity, where Amazon can enter any market and people will go, yeah, I guess that makes sense. For example, if other huge brands like Coca-Cola or Samsung said they were opening physical grocery stores, it would be kind of weird. But when Amazon say that, it's not even surprising. Which brings us on to Amazon's plans to not just beat the high street, but to become the high street. In case you haven't seen, Amazon is planning to reinvent the physical shopping experience as well. No lines, no checkout. No, seriously. 